We haven't done this in a while, but uh, we're going to go ahead and jump into a weekend reading vlog, even though it is Thursday night. Nothing wrong with getting it in too early. Hey. Okay. back to my channel it has been a little while and it is finally October and we haven't done a weekend of reading vlog in a while even though it's Thursday it's fine it's technically my weekend anyway but I have some books I'm definitely want to try to finish slash start get into definitely get into I'm definitely trying to finish. Um, I don't know what's all going to happen from now until Saturday, but uh, we will definitely be trying to work a little bit on Sunday, then come home and get more into these bad boys. But I am currently listening to Gideon the Ninth, and I'm obsessed with this book. It is really good and Gideon doesn't really give a crap about what anyone says to her and then you have Harrowhawk who's just this badass leader who really don't want to get on her bad side and if you do Let's just say it will not end well. And her and Gideon, you know, hit butt back and forth. It was kind of hilarious. But for this one, I am up to chapter 31, I believe. And I am almost done. And it's exciting because I started this last year, but then seeing the audiobook in my Olivia account, and I checked it out like that. And love it. And I'm glad we did. So I also have a second book, which I plan on starting after this, maybe, but I do have the audiobook waiting for me, so we'll wait for that, possibly. And I'm also doing my Hocus Pocus readathon. How y'all doing? I am on Sanderson Sisters. I will do a little update later where the team points and stuff are. I'm curious to see if I'm still tied with Team Undead, because when I checked the night before, we were tied, and don't know how that's going to work out in the end. I'm trying to find my chapter that I am on it in this book, I can give you an idea. I'm on Act 4, I do know that. She said so good. Like I said, Gideon has, she doesn't really care about what anyone says about her, not even Harrowhawk, and Gideon has no filter. We, we like that trope. Not everybody does, but I most definitely do because I get a kick out of it, especially when it's between her and Harrowhawk, and Harrowhawk pisses her off, and she's like, yeah, no, I don't like you, and I'm never gonna like you. Like, whoa! Tell me how you really feel, Gideon. Just damn me. And she basically does, so we like that. And it's a lot about necromancers, and like a bunch of like skeleton little key things, which is kind of cool. I like skeletons, I want a key. Ooh, I am around 340 something pages into this with listening to it on the audiobook. So I'm like more than halfway through it now. Oh, I'm so excited. And then I also really need to finish the audiobook for Iron Gold as well. And um, I may have painted my edges orange because there's orange on the pretty burnt leaf 
Bring me around the map. <laughs> Alright. But the books that I really want to focus on, like I said, is Gideon the Ninth. And I am buddy re reading How to Handle Witch with Faith. I have to see where she's at in this or if she started, but I'm almost on chapter five, which is on page 25. And so far, it's good. All these books that I've read so far about the witches, some are in Salem, and it makes me want to go to Salem so bad just after reading a few witchy books. I have problems. <laughs> and then I want to get more into Blood and Honey because I want to find out what happens between Reed and Lou. And then, of course, Reed's mom's along, so that's gotta be fun for the both of them. And just, mm, the cover's gorgeous. We don't like this part. That, uh, uh, no, but the best of it we're liking so far. I am up to page 30. So I definitely gotta get more into Blood and Honey. Definitely need to get more into A Crown of Feathers. So, love it. Then, we also started Vengeful by B.E. Schwab, which I miss Victor Vale. He is my villain king. Try not to get at me. <laughs> I left off on page 26 as well, so we have some reading to do, and I got some fun, exciting things in the mail today. I got my Damon ring that I've been wearing since I handboxed it, and I finally caught The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by a V.E. Schwab. <laughs> so, you know, we have exciting things we're doing this weekend, I think. So, yeah. <laughs> Sorry the opening to this is a little blah and a little boring, but we'll get better. It's been a little while since we have done this, so it'll be fun. And I also found a spooky book at work. That has the classic stories of doors that never, that never, sh that should never be open. And it's the Library of Horror. It's got like a bunch of little authors thrown in there. There's, and it's all ghost stories. And hmm, around this time, it's a lot. That's all we got. <laughs> But we have Henry, James, Edward, Buller, Loyton, Edder, Allan Poe, Allernon, Blackwood, H.G. Wells, H.P. Lovecraft, Ambrose Peer, Bierce, Oscar Wilde, Pureville, Landon, Bram Stoker, Charlotte Gilman, M. R. James, Guy D. Malpassant, Lafricardo Hearn, and Sky, I think. I don't know if I said any of those right, but I do try, so I apologize. But it just, the cover just looks creepy, and it sounds really good. Classic Haunted House Ghost Stories, created by the world of re-owned filmmaker and horror genre authority John Landis. These tales have enthralled, terrified, and inspired readers decade after decade. This super bioly varied selection includes tales from Bram Stoker, which the people I just listed. And then John Lansing's introduced explorers are enduring banation with haunted houses both on the page and on screen and explores some of the key themes of haunted house tale. Step inside these ghost-ridden re 
posteries of supernatural evil if you dare. Oh, honey, I dare. <laughs> but like I said, this sounds super good. I don't know if I will get to it this month, but if not this month, there's always next year. It's just, it sounds kind of right up my alley, you know what I mean? Alright, now... I think I'm gonna go and finish listening to Gideon the Nine by Tasman Murr. Again, I apologize if I say any name wrong. We did try. A lot. Alright, because for the audiobook, I got four hours, 38 minutes left. And I'm 76% of the way through. Like I said, I am enjoying every minute of this. It's just taken me a while to get through to it finally, but I am. It's just, we like it. We're all over the place right now. We don't know why, but we are. And we're here for it. So I'm gonna go disappear, finish this, and then. May come back and do a little reading montage of a Vengeful by the Schwab. And that's fun to say. Schwab. Schwab. We don't know why we're like this, but we are. <laughs> okay. I will catch you guys in a little bit. Bye. Bye. It is a really late Friday night into Saturday. Really bad at vlogging. I need to get better at it. But I do have an update since the last time we talked. Last time we talked, I was really hoping to finish Gideon the Ninth and no bookmark. Which means I finished a book. I did, and I wanted to throw it back. You know, we're done with it. It's good. I tried starting reading it last year, and never got really far into it. Then the audiobook came in on my Libby account, checked it out, and smashed through it. That's all I got. But I really did enjoy it between Gideon and Harrowhawk. They're a little bickering back and forth through the whole book was just like, <gasps> I need more of that. And like, the ending, like, what? I don't want to spoil it in case you haven't read Gideon in the Night yet, which you should definitely check out Gideon in the Night. It's about necromancers and oh, the magic system. There's a little bit of magic. But definitely check it out. And Gideon is, oh, she's wicked with the sword. And she likes her dirty magazines. What more do you need? But definitely check this out. Book two is definitely out, which is Harrow Hawk the Ninth. And I'm waiting for that audiobook to come in, so I'm hoping to fly through it that one soon. Alright, so the next book I'm currently listening to on my Libby app. I am on chapter 8, almost 9, so I'm 24% of the way through, and it's due back in a few days. So, we're gonna put our little page mark where we're at, which is chapter 8. Ooh, I left off on chapter 5 when I was finding pages before. Whoopsies! Well, we're definitely past the 700, or 700, 70s pages. 700, I am tired. That's what that was. Just roll with it. There's eight. But we're almost on nine. So like two minutes away from chapter nine. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Okay, so that leaves me off close to around a hundred. 
page mark. And yes, oh, and this cute little bookmark. It says, Go to your room, young lady. She says, Okay, carrying her cat in books. Like, look how cute that is. Found this at Target, by the way, in case if you're wondering where I got it from. That would be where, and you're all welcome. Alright. Yes. I can't wait to get more into Truth Witch, which it goes up until. 412 pages. That's reasonable. How long am I going to get it? <laughs> Usually I mark when I got them. I should start doing that. So when I look back when I reread something, I'll be like, oh, mm -hmm. thanks, past me. But yeah, as far as we go, is that. Alright. I haven't made much more progress with. How to Handle Witch, I am up to page 26, 27-ish, so we gotta get more into this, and so far it's good. I may have gotten it, it came out in 2016, I'm thinking I got it more towards like 2017 when I heard about it, and then like the sequel was coming out, so I got both of those, but I definitely love it, like I said the night before. After reading all these books about Salem makes me still really want to go there and I know they have like little fun museums there I definitely want to go and check it out someday that's definitely on my bucket list and like want to do that around spooky time just just cuz because why not it's my bucket list we're gonna make that a rule we're gonna make that a thing one day Alright, that is basically all I got for right now. I haven't gotten that much further into Vengeful. I need to. I also need to start back up more into Crown of Feathers. Ugh. The cover's just so gorgeous, and I did paint the edge, so it better be good. And plus, I have book two, so if that's good, so if this is good by the end. I can paint part of the second book because I've seen the color that the edge or the of pages of them. I really, really want to, but I gotta get more into this before I can do that. I don't know if that made any sense, but we're rolling with it. It's like just bear with me. All right. There's not much going on tomorrow, so maybe have a little Halloween movie thing going on, like watch scary movies, definitely watch Halloween Town movies, I need to finish watching the cartoon version of The Addams Family because it's really super cute, I just need to get through it. And then next week we are going to a pumpkin patch which I'm excited for and I think I'm going to vlog the Wednesday for that because that's gonna be fun and, and getting lost in a corn maze which I definitely have done but we found our way out obviously because we're home but I might record a little bit of that and take pictures inside of the corn maze and that sounds like fun and up my alley and it's October so it's even better sorry all these little fun thinking things I have Ooh, we got plans for October. Just, just wait. <laughs> and also, I am finally up to 200 subscribers. Well, a little past 200, but hi guys, welcome. I know most of you are new, so hello. And if you are new, still, hi guys, welcome back. As always, we're a big family here. We love it. And I plan on doing a Q&A, so if you haven't seen my Twitter post about it, but if you see it on here, go ahead and leave some questions down below, and I will try to do a Q&A very, very soon. I'm excited for it. I haven't really done one before, so it'll be interesting to record and edit it, but we got this. It'll be fun, and I'm hoping to get back into more of 
weekend reading vlogs, and then of course Vlogmas is coming, so we gotta prepare for Vlogmas. We love Vlogmas. I've been doing Vlogmas since 2018, so we're gonna keep a Vlogmas alive. Even though it won't be much of Vlogmas, but um, jingle bells, jingle bells. Yeah. That's all we got. We're kind of hyper right now. Mood. I also took Damon's ring off, so that has nothing to do with me being hyper, but it'll control the hype. Not really well. <laughs> I don't know whether to scrap this or keep it in the vlog. I think I'm going to keep it in the vlog because it's kind of weird and it's out there and it's you know what, we're keeping this in the vlog, <laughs> so I apologize, but if you make it towards the end of the video, even though it's just Friday night, put a little pumpkin emoji down in the comments, because <gasps> I'm curious if you all make it to the end of the video, so, yes. Okay, so we finished Gideon the Ninth, and we are hoping to finish Truth Witch this weekend. I work Sunday, but not very long, so we can definitely manage to finish this and listen to it on through my headphones at the bus, so we love that. And I want to get up to at least, let's pick a random page where we want to be at. Ooh, that's definitely halfway through the book. Ooh, 232. It looks like an interesting page, and there's a letter on there. I don't want to read it yet, because spoilers for me, but I definitely want to try to get to 232 in here. We'll see if we can. And then hopefully smash through some of my other TBR books and audio books. Just all of it. And that is all I have for tonight's clip. A little out there, not too crazy, but you know, it's out there. And I definitely want to get more into Blood and Honey again. We will pick a random page to where we want to be off at 292. If it would have been 232, that it's trying to tell me something. <laughs> okay, so 292 for Blood and Honey. Okay, we'll do the same thing with vengeful, just because it's kind of fun. Alright. Ooh, 268 for vengeful. That's... We can totally do that. Because we have a lot of time off next week. Or this upcoming week. Okay. 262. We have like the 200s, apparently, of this. In these things. Okay. So 292. Or no, 262. 92. It's been a bum Keep me back to my page. One more. There we go. I need like little sticky notes to put in the box. That'll be fun. Alright. I'm gonna stop the video here and mark my little pages before I forget. Because I might because I almost forgot this one. So uh, we're gonna mark them up. And I will see you guys sometime tomorrow if I don't forget to vlog. Thanks. Alright. Alright. Bye. Hi fam, oh, welcome back to another day. It is Sunday, we didn't do much yesterday, but we're going to be doing fun and exciting things today. If I can get it all out. Oh goodness, okay. This is happening. I'm putting blue in the bottom of my hair. 
I don't know if it'll turn out, but we're hoping. So I will be back in a little bit with the results. So keep that in mind, blue day. <laughs> All right, I will see you guys soon. Okay, bye. Okay, now we're gonna be waiting for 45 minutes up to 15 minutes to get this out of my hair and let it sit. I'm nervous, but I look like a blue smurf right now because it's all over. But when it's not, oh, I'm excited because it's like a dark blue, so we hope it turns out. But my hair is a mess, so don't mind it. It's got dye in it, but we are living for it. But I do have a little bit of an update, not much. I got a little farther into Truth Witch. I think I left off on chapter 19. Let me check that out. Chapter 18, I was close. Alright, so I'm probably going to read a little bit while it's sitting and then come back on later, hopefully do a reveal, hopefully it's a good review and you didn't just see me do that. Alright, I will see you guys in a bit. Bye! Ugh, blue smurf. Hi guys, it is now Monday. <laughs> kind of forgot to vlog the rest of the day yesterday. Oops. But I left off on me dyeing my hair blue. Well, part of my hair blue. Sorry, trying to adjust here. There we go. Give me one more minute. There we go. Time to go. Okay. All right. Like I said, I tried to dye my part of my hair blue. I don't know if it will show up better like in the sun, which <laughs> it might do with that. But there's that little fun act. And also, I had gotten busy into watching a few movies. I watched the rest of The Addams Family, the cartoon version. It's really cute. It's different, and then, like I like the story behind it. And just, oh. if you haven't watched it, I rec I would recommend watching it. It's really good. And then I watched part of Friday the Thirteenth. This is the 2009 version, aka one of the better versions, just because a couple of an actor and an actress I like are both in this movie. Like, Jared from Supernatural is in this. Like, when I watched it years ago, I didn't technically know who he was at the time, but, um, I remember liking, the, liking him then. So, we're re-watching this one. And then, Danielle Panabaker, I don't know if you guys have seen other things that she's been in, but she's also in this as well, so, re-watch was needed. <laughs> Alright, and then I am also getting quite a few more ways into Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. I am up to chapter 32. It goes until chapter 40, so I have like this much chunk of it left. So I'm going to try and finish this, and then I'm going to try and do a 24 hour read a thong later tonight. I might record that because I know some of you guys like 24 hours. So I'll probably do that and then get started on my next weekend reading vlog, but we're going to start it off on Wednesday because we have a fun events that I'm going to on Wednesday and I'm going to try to include that in the vlog. So what better way to do it than going to a corn maze or a pumpkin patch? I mean, it's going to be fun and it's supposed to be a nice day Wednesday for us here. So, we all about that. Alright, like I said, the only thing I have gotten a little bit farther into is Truth Witch. 
I haven't gotten much farther into Vengeful. Well, I got up to page 28, which isn't too far from where I was. Got a little ways into this, I guess. And then, still didn't get much more into how to hang a witch. I'm on the same page number as I am in Vengeful. That's kind of funny. Oh, and my Dean bookmark came in. I know it's too far away to show y'all, but look! He's just so gorgeous, and it's metal, and it has a string, and I, I love it. We stand for Dean here. <sighs> and there goes another book on the floor. So after Truth Witch, I'm hoping to start the audiobook for The Chain. I haven't heard too many things about it, but I know it's a scary story, of course, which is perfect for spooky season, in my opinion, but I am really looking forward to reading this, so hopefully after this clip I will start my 24 hour readathon, like around 9, and hopefully get into this and maybe a few other books as well that's still on my TBR that your girl needs to finish. Will I finish? Hopefully. <laughs> we may never know. But alright, that is all the updates I have for this weekend that is now Monday, but it's fine. It's fine. We're good. Anyway, I'm not wearing my demon as she gets sidetracked. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end this clip here. And I'm going to start a 24 hour shortly after this, well, long later after this clip, but yes, those are the plans for now, and if you're new here, go ahead and hit subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you haven't already to see more videos from whenever I post, and go ahead and hit that like button if you like it, go ahead and put a little... Oh, I wish I had a witch's hat emoji that you can drop down in the comments below. So instead, drop a little skull emoji down below if you made it towards the end of this crazy weekend of reading vlog. Not that I showed a whole lot of clips of me reading, but I will try to do that in the 24 hour readathon. So look forward to that because that will hopefully be next. And I'm going to hopefully try to post more videos as soon as I can. But also bear with me, my internet's kind of slow, so we'll go with the flow. Don't know why we said it like that, but we're going to leave that in there as well, because this video is all over the place, but you know what? We're going to leave it. Alright, I will see you guys in the 24 hour readathon. <laughs> anyway, bye guys. Yeah.